Hey everyone, it's Tony from Parent Square here talking to you today about account settings. Now, if you're new to Parent Square or perhaps onboarding some folks at your school, this is a really great place to start. Follow me as I log into the platform as a teacher. We'll take a look at some account information, add a profile picture. I'll show you how you can adjust your notification and language settings. And then we're gonna set up some office hours, really handy tool for busy folks like you. Ready? Let's go. To access account settings, find your name in the upper right corner, click it and choose my account. Here we see our teachers contact information and classes. It's a good idea to check and make sure everything is accurate. If something isn't right, like my phone number right here, I can go to edit account in the left side navigation bar. Next, I'll click edit next to the cell phone field and input my updated number. Once I click next, I'll be sent a verification at my new number. From this same screen with edit account selected in the left side navigation bar, I'll choose upload picture and then I'll choose a profile picture from my desktop. It just takes a moment to upload into Parent Square. And then below, I'm going to leave a message for other Parent Square users at my school and I'll include my title before I click save. Let's switch gears and talk notifications. All users are notified of messages and alerts instantly, but you get to decide how and when you receive your post notifications. This is important since you'll almost certainly receive more posts than any other type of communication. Clicking Notification Settings in the left side navigation bar shows default settings at your school and district. Notice that email, text, and app notifications are all set to digest. That means this user will get all of his notifications around 6 p.m. each evening across all modalities. You won't need to change your language settings, but you may find yourself directing parents to change theirs. Have them access their My Account page and choose Language Settings in the left side navigation bar. Choosing a language here will trigger instant two-way translations really breaking down that language barrier. Finally, let's set some office hours, letting others know when it's a good time to message you. I'll hit Office Hours in the left side navigation bar, Enable office hours here, and choose the date and time ranges that represent my availability. Then click Save. This won't block or delay direct messages outside of that range, but it will let others know that you may not be available. Here's an example. Parent Square will let users know if they're messaging others outside of office hours a couple different ways. They'll be told here in the platform, and again when they hit Send. Want to learn more about Parent Square? Click the question mark in the upper right of your screen. Here you can search our super comprehensive help articles, see what's new, or connect with our amazing support team. Now that we've got those account settings sorted, you're well on your way to communication bliss with Parent Square. This is Tony saying thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again really soon here at the Square.